This isn't going to be one of those videos where it's an unboxing. Those who've watched my videos in the past know I don't care about what the box says or how it looks. I'm not buying a product because the box is black and white with the red little ribbon. Who cares? I toss that stuff to the side because I want to test the product itself. Who cares about that box? Now, one thing I want to say about these Etoli earbuds that I thought was super cool is I love the way they fit in my ear. The second pro is the comfort. They fit inside your ear, but there's a trick when you put them in. When you put the earbuds in, you put them in and then you have to turn it so it sits long ways in your ear to get you the best fit. Now, by doing that, I was able to go running, jogging, working out, and I did not have one time where these fell out of my ear. That was a definite plus. Now, pro number three, you could also do things like use Google Assistant, Siri, or Bixby. Wait, Bixby, who uses Bixby? The other pro, I like the box that it comes in. It's super small and able to just slide in your pocket. Now this one has a lock function on it, which means when it's closed, you can't lift it up and you don't have to worry if you have it in your book bag or your pocket that it pops open, the earbuds pop out and the batteries drain. The other pro that I liked about these is when you take these out of your ear and you set them inside of the case like this, they automatically cut off as soon as you close the case. Now I'm gonna put a link below if you wanna look at these because at $40, it's a great bargain. Now, with everything that I talked about, let's jump right in and let's talk about some cons. Con number one, and again, this is just personal preference. When I went to connect these earbuds, pairing these to my phone was a headache. You have to pair your phone to the left earbud then you have to open up the settings and pair your phone to the right earbud. Then when you wanna connect your phone to the earbuds, you have to connect your phone to Bluetooth A, which is the left side, and Bluetooth B, which is the right side. Why do I have to separate the pairing and separate the connecting? The second thing I thought was frustrating, and it was definitely a con to me, is that when I test these products out, I test them out for at least three to four weeks. I connected these earbuds to my watch, I connected them to my phone, I connected them to my TV, and I connected them to my MacBook. And the reason I connected it to all those devices is because I wanted to make sure that the syncing was seamless. But the one thing I didn't like is when you first take them out of the earbud case, they automatically connect to the last device it was connected to. Now, if you only have these connected to one device, that's an amazing feature that should definitely be on the positive side. The thing that I had an issue with is when I went to pull these out and play them, it automatically connected to whatever device it was connected to last, and I didn't know which one that was. So I had to continuously go and unpair these headphones from all my devices, and then finally repair it to the device I wanted to listen to. That was just a headache for me, and that's why I'm throwing it in my con section. Con number three, the call quality is okay on a scale of one to 10, I'll give it a five. The one thing I didn't like, is that you can only hear the caller's voice on the other end of the phone out of the right earbud. Now, if I'm listening to one earbud and then listening to the other earbud, how can I take phone calls because I don't have the right earbud in? Now, con number four. While the sound quality is good, there's no bass in these earbuds. So if you're a person who's looking for bass, these aren't it. Con number five. When I looked at the back of the box, it says Bluetooth 5.0, distance of 50 feet away. But then when I open up the instructions, it says Bluetooth 5.0, 10 meters or 33 feet. That's a big difference. Now, when I tested these, I didn't get any farther with these than I did with my 4.2 Bluetooth devices. The last con, just so I don't dig too deep, is that these say that I get three and a half hours playback time. Now, they do not get super loud, which means I had to turn the volume up. Obviously, the louder you play your earbuds, the less battery usage you're gonna get. By turning them up, which is what I did, I wanna say playing both earbuds at the same time, I probably got close to two hours, really around the hour and 45 minute mark. Now, if the back of the box means three and a half hours playback time by using one earbud and then using the other earbud and letting the battery die, then maybe I dropped the ball myself on that one. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and I hope it was informative to a lot of you. If you want to follow me on social media and you want to see what I do outside of making these reviews, you can follow me on Facebook at OnTheWire. Or if you don't get on Facebook and you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can find me at 
the real on the wire. And I hope me testing these products out the way that I do gives you guys better insight before you go out and buy these products that I look at for you. Again, this has been another production for on the wire. I'm out.